My Digital Landscape. Hi, this is William with My Digital Landscape. And today we want to talk a little bit about some of the SEO techniques for Squarespace. So let's go over some of the basics because we get this question on a regular basis and we've put out YouTube videos in the past uh, and some of that information is frankly outdated at this point. So we wanted to give you some of the techniques that we're looking at. Um, it's November 2016 and uh, with moves that Google has made and other things, we want to give you a perspective from if you are a new Squarespace user or have a Squarespace site, where you should look on the site and where you should focus some of your keyword-based SEO um, onto, that, onto that site. So what we have is just a, this is a, the demo uh, Bryant template up right now. And what we're going to do is talk about uh, kind of in order of priority where to go to make sure that the right words are going to index in the right ways to get you the most visibility when it comes to uh, search engines. So first off the bat, let's look at the site title. This is something that indexes regularly, it indexes quicker than some of the other content, and it's something that we can really uh, leverage to make sure that that we have um, the right information in there. So let's pop in we're going to go to design and we would go to logo and title. Trick of, of this is the title is going to show customer facing on the actual wherever the template renders that um, or if you upload a logo it's not going to show um, on the template, but it's going to show in different places depending on the browser. It could show up here in the tab like we're on Chrome now, or you'll see it in Safari across the top or in different places. But this is a great place to make sure that we have keywords first off the bat. So in the site title, let's say um, my business name was 123SEO. And we want to make sure that the business name is part of the title. And that makes sense, but that's generally all people add to the site title. So let's add this. And then we like to use a pipe. You can use a hyphen as well. And then let's break that up to be um, our primary keyword. So let's say we are um, uh, Squarespace SEO experts. And then this is also a great place for maybe a location. So we would not want all of this to be here. So in this case, we could upload a logo, but this is a great place for us to have the keywords. And the way that the search engine is going to look at this is it's going to see that the word Squarespace SEO expert in Seattle, Washington is part of the site title, so we're immediately going to keyword there, and that's going to be a great first place to look. So second off, let's look at the overall site description. So this is a great place to put in a couple paragraphs of copy uh, that are going to be related to, uh, that are going to be very much related to what you have going on. So in Squarespace, we would go in, uh, and let's get back to the navigation here, we'd go to settings, we go into marketing and we go into SEO. This search engine description right here, you can go one or two short sentences. You can go more than that, frankly. Uh, but this is a perfect place for you to be able to type in the best description of your business and think about when you're thinking about the description, what you need to think about is what people are going to be typing into Google to find you. So. What are those keywords that people are going to be using? For us, it might be in Squarespace SEO. It might be Squarespace developers, Squarespace designers. So we want to say that, but we don't want to just say all of the keywords. We want to written into a fluid sentence that says something about your business right here. This is a 
what's going to be a very uh, prominent place for uh, SEO keywords. But secondly, this is going to render, for example, this is what's going to render right here. So you're going to see the site title, you're going to see the URL, and then you're going to see the site description right here in search. So that's where this is coming from within Squarespace is going to be again under settings, marketing, SEO. Make sure that this is correct. Below this in SEO, I would say if you are uncertain, leave this as is. There can be some power in switching the placement of this area. So if you say we wanted to have um, we wanted to have the page name before the site title or other things, you can look into this or feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions regarding this um, title format because this is going to not change the slugs, but this is going to change how it lays out as far as the actual title of the site, the collection name, which is the page name, or if you break it down to another level, like the individual post or item name from something like in a store. Uh, so this is a great setup. I would say if you know a little more about SEO, maybe think about this. Feel free to reach out to us. Or if you don't, if you're uncertain, don't change this because this is where people can uh, remove things that they shouldn't um, and it could be more of a detriment than a positive thing if you don't know what you're doing in this. So let's leave that alone and not make it a scary thing, right? So we've got so far the site title, we've got the site description, and now let's go into the page descriptions. So page descriptions is going to be the third point. And what we have here is a, is a template that is um, a little bit tricky. And a lot of the Squarespace templates are like this because they're using indexes. So this is an index, and then we have three pages within the index. So we're looking at this as kind of one page. But if we go in here under Residences, we can see that the page description right here is actually rendering customer facing. So what we want to do when we're using an index is let's add our description to the index page description for the search engine to, to, um, to be. And think of it like this. This description right here is going to be talking about and utilizing keywords of what's going on with the business, what's going on on these pages, and we want to say this in a natural way. So this is something that before, and if you watch your videos in the past, we talked about maybe writing a sentence, but then having a list of keywords in here. This is something that between, you know, in the last couple of years since we've made some of our first videos, uh, Google is no longer, uh, or I should say that Google is now responding more negatively to what would be seen as keyword stacking. So what we want to be in here, think of it like this. Think about it as you were writing a description to a friend about what's going on in these pages in your business. Write it in a natural way, utilizing sentences, and don't just stack a bunch of keywords in here because at this point, the Google algorithm is going to be smart enough to know eh, they're just really stacking a bunch of keywords that they want us to queue on versus writing it in a... Um, a real organic way. So this description you can have uh, and is going to be an important spot to figure out quickly or let the search engines figure out what's going on on these pages. Um, and again, write it in an organic way. The other pages within the index, if you're utilizing an index, are going to appear over the images. So as we see here, this is going to be what we want to have over the image. This is also something that we want it to be. If we could say something like, you know, Squarespace SEO expert, you know, view our work, whatever that is, this is going to be seen as a header or an H1 uh, over the image. So this is going to be important for keywords, but at the same time, 
you can't really just write a whole sentence or do anything else. So don't worry as much about those. If you can use keywords, great. If you're not able to, and it just needs to make sense in part of the visual design, that's what you're going to need to do. And you can save the index for that other portion of it. The other pages, like these pages that are in the folders, we're going to see also have on this template, which is from the Bedford family, um, we're going to have the descriptions appearing over the images. So again, if we can be keyword friendly, great. Uh, but these are going to be really customer facing. Uh, and then there's going to be other pages that may not have a banner image. So if we don't have a banner image or we remove a banner image from a page like this, and we're not utilizing a banner image, then the page description is not going to appear customer facing. So if we don't have the banner image, we can again write in something that is going to be a great description of what's going on on the page. The rest of the SEL basics is going to happen on page. And the thing to note in what's going on with Google, you know, with, with being in Microsoft to a, to a smaller point is going to be that really the search engines want to be spoken to almost like a person. Think of it as you're writing in, don't think of it of how to trick the bot that's crawling the page. Think about how you would write it to another human because that level of writing is going to work better with the algorithm than something that's just a bunch of stack keywords that's something else. We want it in context of good sentences uh, and that's going to be just what's happening on the page from that point. So we want to have <clears throat> editing on page content. We got our standard copy. Things that are at the top of the page that are a heading one or what you'll refer to in H SEO as an H1 are going to be weighted more because we're going to see this as kind of the title of what's going on on the page. So if this page was talking about our service features, we would want it to be something along the lines of Squarespace SEO in an H1. That's going to be weighted heavier and then we can have the support copy talking about that as well. So let's just recap to keep it simple and keep these features. Let's talk about all of the places that we just want to ensure that the SEO basics are happening on your page. First off, site title. We're going to go to design. We're going to go to logo and title. We're going to have the company name or site title. And then we're going to add in the very most important keywords after the site title with breaking it up with either a hyphen or a pipe. And this is going to render in the tabs or on top, depending on the browser. And this is going to be an important place uh, or, or one of the number one places to use the best keywords. Secondly, we're going to have the overall site description. That's going to be under settings. It's going to be under marketing and it's going to be under SEO. And this search description right here is going to be a few sentences, again, that's going to be showing up here and is going to be a very important or important point uh, that the bots are going to look at to see what's going on on this site. Uh, third, we're going to look at... Oh, let me mention one more thing about this. Uh, again, changing the page titles and how these lay out. If you're uncomfortable with this, again, please feel free to reach out to us. And it's not something that you need to change to get great SEO on your site. There are some areas of opportunity there, but it gets a little more advanced. Um, and it's not something that in your first pass you need to worry about. Third is going to be the page descriptions. So we're going to go to pages and when we have indexes, we're going to write it into the description of the index because that's not going to be customer facing and pages that have 
the content showing over an image, we're going to be limited a little bit by what actually makes sense and also what makes sense in just terms of overall design and the copy message that's rendering over the images. Pages that don't render these customer facing, you can go in and do a description for each page. So let's talk about what's going on on each page in roughly a paragraph of keyword friendly, but again, write it like you're writing it to a human, to a friend, and describing what's going on on this page in a keyword friendly way. After the page descriptions, we're just going to be focused on the content on the page. Things that are a header one, header two, header three are going to be weighted a little bit heavier as far as keywords. And then we're going to have just the standard text on the page, which is also going to be weighted. So there's no tricking the system. Do it in a very transparent way like you're setting it up for a human to look at and be able to uh, be able to read. I mean, I, I would go as far as saying that don't think of it like the Google bots that are crawling the page. Think of it as if you had a Google employee looking over the site seeing what the title is, the description is, the page descriptions, and the content on those pages, and then ranking you based on that information. It's the best way to look at it, and it is the way that it's all going to move forward. The couple other things we'll mentioned before we'll wrap this one up to keep it simple is there are other SEO opportunities on the page. These are the basics. Some of the other um, you know, if you want to do deeper dive moves are going to be uh, a naming the image titles. So as we save these images or as we upload them, making sure that they're keyword friendly images is an important part. And also with the images, making sure that the load speed by saving them, our general rule of thumb is going to be under a half a megabyte, so that would be 500 KB or less, if you can compress it down to that, that size. Because if the page load speed is not fast enough, then you're going to get some sort of a demerit from Google saying that it doesn't load fast enough, and that could affect your SEO. So um, I think that that's an overall recap. Uh, don't want to make this again, too confusing or complex, think about those five primary places. Site title, site description in the SEO section, page descriptions, the actual content on the pages and the headers and the text, and maybe look at the images. And if you can go through that checklist, you're going to be in a lot better of a spot than where, where, um, than where you were. So again, this is William with My Digital Landscape. Thank you all so much today for watching. And please feel free to reach out to us at mydigitallandscape.com if you have any questions or you would like our help in this process. Take care. Cheers. My Digital Landscape.